Welcome, Chuggalos, to episode 21, now we're finally legal, of Butt Chug Shorts. I'm your six foot two hostess with the mostest, Matt, and today we are going to be drinking Sea Hag IPA from New England Brewing Company, and more information can be found out, and I've got a lot to talk about their website at newenglandbrewing.com. And today, we it's a Friday, it's Flex Friday, uh, coming to you from the church room bar. So, fantastic, everything is good. It's Friday, so TGIF, whenever you uh, watch this. And when you do watch it, please tell your friends about it, please subscribe, and in the lower right-hand corner, hopefully, you can hit the bell and get notified when these new episodes drop. I know uh, JT just did episode 22 nights ago, so we're picking up steam on these. Uh, again, with the podcast, we just had episode 74, and we this is episode 21 of the uh, Butt Chug Shorts. So again, Sea Hag IPA, it's a New England IPA that comes in at 6.2%. We're going to go with the crack. I'm not going to count when it's just me. I realized that was uh, kind of a dumb thing to be doing. Great head. Very wow, very citrusy on the on the initial sniff. And I want to talk about the can. Ah, lots of citrus. I want to talk about the can so then I can sleeve it. We'll talk about the koozie and then uh, we'll talk more about the beer. So the interesting thing is it's got a description. I'm not going to do the artwork because uh, we've got other guys that talk about the artwork. So C. Hag IPA is the first crafted uh, American. American India Pale Ale to be packaged in cans. So I don't know if that's just New England Brewing Company or if that's overall for all the craft brewers in the U.S. if this was one of the first ones to be thrown in cans. That's just something interesting. Handmade with three malts and a generous amount of hops. We'll get into that because there's like 74 hops on research on this beer. So uh, you can tell that this is something that hopefully is well balanced. I'll get to that. But that they've done a lot of research because just throwing all those hops, it could be a dangerous combination where they really throw off the, uh, the balance of uh, the bitterness of the beer. And a gener generous amount of hops throughout the brewing process lends a crisp finish and a big floral aroma. I agree that so far with the big floral aroma. Definitely uh, flowery, more so citrusy. Drink it, it's good. So again, that's the can before I sleeve it. And today... The koozie is one of my favorite koozies, and we'll get into that on the back side of it, is it's uh, all things jerky. I'm a big jerky fan. It's my favorite snack. Um, and then it's just a few places in Wisconsin, so Appleton, Eagle River, and Minocqua. Apologize it's backwards, but the real reason I love this koozie, and this is one of my traveling koozies, if you jerk it, they will come. God, classic. I picked this up with my father-in-law, so we had a giggle on that when we bought a bunch of jerky. That is fantastic. At 6.2% too, this is uh, definitely crushable and we'll get into that after I talk about it for a little bit. So if you go to their website, which is newenglandbrewing.com again, they make you check your age, which is you know getting old, but I understand the legalities of it. But they say beer is their passion. And the one thing that I really like about their website is they have immediately what they have on tap at the brew room or the brew house, excuse me. So you can go through and it's actually got tap systems. So you can go through, let's say we're gonna plan a trip. We're gonna be going to New England Brewing Company, which is in uh, Connecticut, I believe. <sighs> Sorry, Stacy. I think this beer actually comes from Connecticut Jeff. We're gonna have to come up with a nickname. I'm kind of working on one. So CT Jeff is all I got so far. So thank you for watching. If you do this, I know you support uh, JT's drinking habits and we really appreciate that to have that New England presence on our podcast. On the website, I, I just like that you can see everything that's on tap. You can click on it. Everything's big, welcoming, and inviting. The one thing that I want to point out is if you go to their About Buy on their website, and I highly encourage you because you're probably watching this either on your phone or maybe a computer, which it might be more conducive. So if you go to their About, it, it talks about you know the beer being their passion and their history and everything. The only thing I want to point you to is... The third person or the uh, second person down in the first column. Let's look at Marty Giuliano. Marty, did you just fart or something? Because you've just got like a whoever smelt it, dealt it type face. Everyone else is prepared for the picture. You're like the random kid that uh, sh should show up to school picture retake day and get your picture um, retaken. I don't know, Marty. You pro you're probably a good guy, someone I could get down and crack a beer with. More of the sea hag, hopefully. 
but it just was a funny picture. Ah, I just, I just love that picture of you, Marty. So, uh, the interesting thing about this beer, before I get into the scores, so a little research on the beer and uh, where I talked about how many hops it came with. So this beer has been hopped multiple times. So it's got kettle hops of Columbus, uh, which we've had Centennial, Amarillo, and Citra. But then dry hopped is Amarillo, Centennial, Citra, Simcoe, and Columbus. So kettle hopped, and then when they dry hopped it, they put in Citra again. So it's rehopped. Uh, it's awesome to have such a balance and such a great beer that um, puts all of those hops into something and it's not off-putting. It's a very inviting beer. Wow. Score. Off the top rope, this is a 4.5. This is a very juicy and I'm, we're trying to get away from that beer or that phrasing. We've said that multiple times on the podcast and we've done a really good job, but this, this beer is juicy. This beer screams New England IPA. Um, definitely have the Boom Sauce family from the same area. Uh, wow. Again, off the top rope, yeah, four or five. This is, gosh, such a great beer. I just wish that I had more of it. I got this from uh, JT, who wanted me to talk about it, and I think uh, JT got this from Connecticut Jeff. But, yeah, outside of that, uh, just a great website. This is going to be a, a bit of a shorter episode as I'm running out of things to talk about with this, uh, with this beer. But, again, TGIF. Hopefully you're able to watch this on a Friday or during your weekend, but uh, cheers and thank you for watching. Please subscribe and please tell your friends. Have a wonderful day. Cheers.